Now this is for a straight conductor cutting magnetic flux. Eh? So we use Fleming's right hand rule to determine the directions of the currents. Lane's law obeys the principles of conservation of energy. So if we move a conductor to cut the magnetic field, the energy possessed by the conductors is the kinetic energy. So when the conductor cut the magnetic field, the kinetic energy will be converted to electrical energy, right? Okay, because energy cannot come from nowhere, it cannot be produced from nowhere, okay? It must be converted from other forms of energy. So in this case, it's converted from kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is converted to electrical energy. When kinetic energy converts to electrical energy, so the kinetic energy will reduce. It will become less and less, right? It will reduce. Eh? So if the kinetic energy reduces, means that the movements must be slow down. So that is what discussed in Lane's law. Okay, so Lane's law obeys the principles of conservation of energy. Yeah? So when you cut the magnetic flux, eh, the electrical energy produced, so then we, we must have something to against the motions of the conductor. We must have something to slow it down. Yeah, because energy has been converted to kinetic and uh, from kinetic to electrical energy, yeah? so we must something to slow slow it down. By using this principle eh, and and also this Lane's law, okay, so we develop Fleming's right hand rules. And according to Fleming's right hand rules, let's say this is your right hand, okay. So the thumb is the directions of the motions, and the index finger is the directions of the magnetic field. And the middle finger is the directions of the current. Okay, directions of the current. So, so for example, in this case, uh, so the field, the magnetic field is from the North Pole to the South Pole, right? North Pole to the South Pole, okay? And then uh, we move this, this uh, conductor up, so the motion up, okay? And hence, the current produced, okay, so the, 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 the middle finger shows the directions of the currents. Eh? So the current produced is uh, to these directions, eh? come out from the plane. To these directions, and then to the galvanometers. The galvanometer will deflect to the right, okay, and then go back. So that's how we use the Fleming's right hand rule to determine the directions of the current. So for the conductor in a closed circuit moving perpendicular to a magnetic field and hence cutting its magnetic flux, the directions of the induced current is determined from Fleming's right hand rule. Eh?